Okay. So if I'm choosing, so I have my Google, like I have a, a link for my cab form uploaded into Google, my Google Drive, or you can do it in your OneDrive. Um, I've created a button, but I don't have to use a button. I'm going to show you both ways. So I've created a button and downloaded it to my computer. Now I'm going to go to property base. I'm going to go to my property base website. So there's a couple ways that you can log in. You can put your domain name in and click admin and log in that way. Or you can go um, to workspace and go over uh, to your quick links and go to your property-based website, right? All of that will take you to here. Um, now, we're gonna start with website. So we're gonna go to website. And we are going to um, go to components. And we're going to go to forms. No, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to create. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're going to go to create. And we're going to create a CMS page. We're going to create a CMS page. Okay, so now it takes me to this new page, question mark. So if you name your page, this is going to be a little confusing, but if you name your page, you will have a name on the top of your page. I'm going to show you what that, what I mean by that. So I'm going to do it and then I will show you what that means, what that looks like. So if I name my page, test compensation page, right? You don't have to name your page and I'll show you the difference when you don't. I prefer not to because it's gonna create this header in the page that looks a little funky, but I'll show you what it looks like so that you can see the difference. But it's not going to require, this is not a required field. So when you're like, Jamie, this popped up and I don't know how to fix it, you just delete the name, but I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna go step by step. If you want to add an image, a hero image, to the top of your page, you can do that here. I'll show you again what that looks like in a few minutes. I'm not gonna add one for the sake of today. So this content block is where you're going to add either the button, buttons, multiple buttons, right? You can add multiple buttons, or you're going to add just typing in an address and making it a hyperlink. I'm gonna do both in this content block so you can see what it all looks like. So we're gonna go through those steps. So let's say I have my button, we're gonna add the button. That's what we're gonna start with. So I click here in the content box and then do you see this picture? This is how we're gonna add an image. We're gonna add an image. Now here's a caveat, I do this wrong every time. Not wrong, but I like always get antsy and I want to like just add, browse the server and I always hit the wrong button. So bear with me for a second, see I'm human. Um, I'm gonna browse the server without adding something. I did it right this time, I hit browse server. <laughs> and then I'm going to upload my button. You see, I have all these buttons here. I'm going to upload my button. And remember, I downloaded that button from Canva earlier, right? So it's here, right here in my download. I'm gonna click it and here it is. I'm gonna click this button and I'm gonna hit okay. There's my button. Do you guys want me to do it again? No, we're good? Okay, uh, hang on, there's chat. Yes, do it again, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to add another one, right? So this is, well, well, two birds, one stone. Oh, come on. I told you my mouse is touchy. Oh, I accidentally deleted it. Um, so I'm going to hit image. I went to browse server because I wanted to upload a new button. I'm going to click upload. 
And I'm going to use that downloaded button that I did it from Canva. It pops up here and I click it. And then I hit OK. There it is. Right? If I do a space bar, because I have more than one property, I spaced it out, I can go to that picture, right? I can go to browse server. Let's say I have another address to upload and I downloaded that button, right? So I'm gonna go to upload. And we're gonna pretend that this is a different button that I downloaded from Canva. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it and then hit okay. Right, so now I've got multiple buttons going. Now, when you're done with that listing, you delete that button, right? Because it's no longer necessary. Um, so then I can go back to this first button. Um, I'm gonna go to Google first. Remember, I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna share my link. Remember, it was very important that it's anyone with the link. So it's default is restricted in Google in your Google Drive. So I changed it to anyone with the link and I'm gonna copy my link. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my property base. I'm gonna click on my button and I'm going to find, why can't I see it? Am I blind today? Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, there it is. Um, I'm gonna click on link. Do you see this little link over on the left? the little link, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna paste the Google Drive link to that specific cab form and I'm gonna hit okay. Now, if I had another one, I'd click on this button and I would go to link and I would put that link for Google Drive, that cab form and hit okay, right? So you're just adding a link to each of those buttons. Now. Those of you that are like, Jamie, I don't want to add buttons. That's too much for me. I don't care. I just want this quick, easy, I want to add, right? So then I could just make my own hyperlink. So I can say, um, one, two, uh, I could say property. Let's do it bold here, property, right? Um, and I want this to be, oh my gosh. I want it to be bold, right? Um, and then I can say one, two, three, four, four, main. Now, it's the same process. I typed the address. I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to click link and I'm going to put the link to that cab form. I'm going to paste it. So there's two ways to do it. You could either have the button or you can just type the property address and make a hyperlink. Questions about this so far? Go for it, Lisa. Okay, so now I've used this, I've sold the property, they've and it's, I don't want to delete it because I have another listing coming up. Can I edit that button inside there or do I have to delete it and do the whole process again? Well, so if you, if, okay, so that's a good question. But if you're using a button, this is an image. So you can't edit the address because this is a, a, a static image, right? So you would have to create a new button and do this process all over again. You would delete this button create a new button with the right address and add it again. So once you get the hang of it, it's very, very fast just to, you know, create a new button, add it and you're done. Or if you go this route, then you would just delete this. Um, if you, and, and if you were editing a button, you'd have to edit the link again because it'd be a different cab form, right? A different amount, like different cab form, different property. Um, so it's it's really up to you. There's no right or wrong in this. We're all learning, right? So right. If you, if this is, and it's not a mandatory thing to have your your compensation on your website. You don't have to do this at all. But if, for those of you that want to, um, this is a quick way to do it. 
So because anybody can see this, that's how we set it up. Does that mean clients that come to your webpage can see it too? Sure. I mean, if they go to okay. your comp, if they know to go to your compensation tab, um, okay. they, they could see it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. That, that, they'll, it's there. It's not hidden. But it's a few clicks away. So they'd have to like go through that step and they'd have to know like, and a lot of, I, I don't know. I, I don't know that they're going to dig that deep, but what other questions about this step so far? Um, when we add a hyperlink, we click address and then add the link to the cab. Uh, like address. So, what, oh yeah. So if you're just doing like the link, um, you would highlight here. Let's do another one. Let's say we want another one. Um, one, two, two, two forest, right? So I typed the address. I highlight the address. I click link. And then I put the link to the cab form that I have in my Google drive that was specific for that property. And I hit okay. So now each time um, there's a, yeah, perfect. Um, so each cab will have its own individual link in your Google drive, right? So if you have multiple properties, you have multiple cabs in your Google drive and they are going to want to use the link that goes along that corresponds with that address. Does that make sense? What other questions? These are good questions. Nothing? Very helpful. Thank you. Yay. Good. I love that. I love to hear that. Okay. So that's it for this step. So I'm going to, I'm going to recap. We uploaded a cab for a specific property into our Google Drive or OneDrive, whatever it is that you're using, right? Um, and we made sure when we share it, it's not the restricted link. It's that anyone with the link can, can view. We created a button in Canva and downloaded it with the property address. You don't have to do this stuff, right? We came to property base, we went to website, and then we hit create, and we created a CMS page. We clicked that button, CMS page. That took us here. We named this page, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when you actually put a title in here. Okay. You don't have to do that. We added buttons and we also just added text and linked to hyperlink. We're all good. Everybody's got those steps. Okay. And then you're just going to hit create. Okay. All right. We're getting closer. We're almost there. We've created our page. Now we want to look at our menus. So now we're back on this website tab and we're going over to components and we're gonna click menus. Now you see here there's search pages, there's primary navigation, there's footer navigation and there's header navigation. We're going to mess with this primary navigation. Do not, do not click over here. It's not going to get you anywhere and you're going to be confused. Do click over here at the edit button on the right. You're not going to do anything wrong if you click navigation. You're just not, you're going to be stuck. You're not going to know how to add anything. So you're going to click the edit for primary navigation. Here's our main menu bar, right? So you see here, I've got home search, uh, home valuation, contact, compensation, because I already have a compensation page set up, right? But I want to add a new menu item. So we're going to click add a new menu item. And then you can pick the page. Um, uh, what did I name that? Test compensation page. You won't have as many options. I happen to be the main main admin for the account. So I have all these. Here it is. Remember I titled it test compensation page. I click it. There it is. And then I'm going to name it.
Um, and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to hit update. Good. Okay. Um, then I can go to my little profile button, right? And I'm going to view my site. I'm going to click view, my, view site. There it is. Home search, home valuation, contact, compensation, which was already there. Now test compensation. This is the page that we just built and the menu that we just built. There it is. You see? So I could click one, two, three, four, four main, and there's my cab. I could click one, two, three, four, four main, the, the hyperlink, the text hyperlink that we did, and there's my cab. It's, it's really simple. It's just following the steps, right? And deciding what you want to do. Do you see here where it says test compensation page? I don't like it. This is why I don't title that page, right? So you can go in and edit that page anytime you want. We can take off this title. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, Oh, there, I knew I was going to say, fire away with your, can you show how you got to primary navigation, please? Oh, when we, um, Elvira, when we, uh, when we edited the menu, is that what you're looking for? Right now, when you, when you showed, um, before the website, I missed how you got to that page where it says, um, primary na navigation. Okay. So I'm going to log back into my admin side. Um, so I was under website. It's slow because we're on, um, I'm on, I'm showing my screen on Zoom, so it slows down. I'm on um, the website tab at the top, and then I hit components. I go to menus. And this is where search pages, primary navigation, but you want to hit edit on the right. So when you hit on the right, that little edit box, that's where you can add a menu item. That's where I added this guy. Does that help? Yes, thank okay. you. Yep, absolutely. Um, okay, what other questions? Nothing? You did awesome getting that across. Yay! But I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to use snippet and do step by step. So, yep, snippet's good. A little, yep. create a little book for myself. Yeah, absolutely. That's so I don't have to bunch you. No, you're fine. I appreciate that, but you're good. Um, so what? Uh, what else, guys? Any other qu Like any questions about how we got here? Pretty clear. Yep, I'm glad. I'm glad it's really clear. And honestly, it might take you. 15 minutes your first time, but once you know how to do it, it's very easy. It's very easy. So if a compensation page is important to you, those are the steps that you follow, right? So I've got two in here. I'm going to want to go in and delete one. Um, this is this one, this compensation page is the same, right? Like it's, I just was messing with it, um, but it's the same process. So, and, and Lisa, to answer your question, you would follow the same steps for creating more pages and more tabs on your menu if it was something different that you wanted. I saw you had home evaluate home valuations up there. That's what I want to link my my uh, who I use for that to this. Put my banners for a buyer for seller, yep. and then I can just hyperlink those in there, and boom, I'm good to go. I am so super excited. Where have I been all this time? Yay! <laughs> You guys, your website, I, I know it, it seems overwhelming, right? Like when you're building a website or you're utilizing a website and sometimes it's like you're afraid, um, even Carlos said, I was kind of afraid to, to explore and figure it out. Um, property base is 
is pretty robust. You just have to, we just have to figure out how to use it, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna log back into this admin side to show you really quick. There is this button, this question mark button at the top right of your the back side of your property base. When you click it, um, there's product alerts. There's um, different things that you can do. But if you go to this webinar training, this is something new that they're doing. So I know we're all busy. I know we have a lot on our plate. I know we're learning a lot with the new, you know, forms and all of these things. However, in your downtime um, and you want to work on your website, this is a great tool. They have, um, sorry, I'm, I can't get rid of these cookies. Hang on. Um, they have these, all these different tutorials. You're going to want to look at the ones that are specifically for agents. So not broker website settings, but you can go to marketing. These agent webinars are really good overviews of um, how to use your website, how to build more, how to change your colors, how to add more hero images, how to, I mean, you can do a lot in here. The other part of that is if you're part of Level Up Coaching, um, Jeremy Collins will show you and he'll he'll teach you how to use this as well. So you have multiple avenues to utilize your website. Um, there is IDX in here, like they, clients can search, they can request showings. There's all kinds of things on the backside of your website that you can utilize. And a lot of people are underutilizing it. So there's tutorials, there's steps that you can take to help you with your website. Um, I'm going to talk about something else. Hang on one. Let, let me read these. Where are your video tutorials posted? Oh, as I, uh, I'll do some more. Um, I don't have a ton of uh, tutorials on this stuff, but I'm, I posted a brief, like a quick overview of this uh, already. That's pretty detailed, but it's, it's kind of quick. Um, that is on workspace, but also on the deluxe realty YouTube channel. Um, and then I'm going to be posting some more. Um, specifically around this. I, and I'm actually going to put this video up as well. Um, and then hang on. Uh, if you could let me know, if you could let me know where to add a blog to your website. Um, so I haven't done blogs, um, but you can add a blog to your website. I do know that, um, I would go into these webinars and take a look. Um, I could probably figure it out kind of quickly but I have, I, I only teach what I know, like what I've used. So sorry. <laughs> you know, this is where, level, oh, right. this is where uh, level up comes in handy yeah. because for that $15 a month that we've brought to you folks, you have that outlet to ask those questions. And they do talk about blogs. I'm pretty confident they already have uh, had meetings that are in the library that you could watch, but they can help you with that part, right, yeah. Jamie? Yes, absolutely. So utilize, uh, I mean, if you're part of Level Up, it's $15 a month. It's worth it. It's worth it to have all those those tools and um, they give you all kinds of advice and help and, and show you how to do it. But you can look also in the webinars here um, and it shows you how to link. If you see, I went to website. I clicked on blogs, but there's a way in your settings also to add a link to wherever you've got your blog stored. So I don't know all the details um, because I haven't added a blog to my website. Sorry. <laughs> I can only teach what I know. You know, um, the, the blogs are wonderful. We can do lots of blogs, but we need time. I think, Jamie, that's where you and I struggle. <laughs> I know. I don't have the time. But they're uh, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Elvira said that uh, level up... Uh, suggest doing the blogs, but they don't know how to, or you don't know how to add them to the website. Yeah. Ask them and they'll show you, they'll do tutorials on it. Um, they are committed to helping with property based specifically. So definitely ask. Um, I'm going to, uh, at least I, I give you one second and then I'll answer your question. I'm going to, I received an update from property base letting us know that, let me see if it's even on here with the, um, Letting us know that they are working on ways to add compensation. You can you can select a box that will then add compensation um, on your website in a different way to attach to your listing. I don't have the details on that. They are rolling it out. I'm going to be really honest. My first look is that they're using the wrong verbiage. So I don't want to tell you guys how to do that yet. One, I don't know all the details because I saw concessions, not compensation, and that's not that's not what we need. So 
I'm not even willing to share with you guys what that is um, because it's the wrong verbiage. So I've gone back to them and let them know that, hey, it's we're talking about compensation, not concessions. And so they need to fix their verbiage. Once that happens, um, I will put out something that lets you guys know that, hey, property base has added this new way for you guys to click a button and it'll show compensation. But for now, this is what we want to go with if you want to add your compensation to your website. Okay, Lisa, go ahead. Sorry, I wanted to get that out. No, I, I think I've, I've I've sorted it out in my own head because I want to add, I do newsletters, not blogs. So mm -hmm. I want to add my newsletters to this, my newsletter page. Okay, so uh, two questions. One, do you do newsletters through Property Base? Uh, no, I do them through Canva. I create them in Canva and I usually do EDMs with them. Gotcha. EDMs, yeah. So, oh, but I want to. You don't email them, you just mail them? Uh, yeah, I, I just mail them out, but I want to. I want a place to kind of keep them. And if somebody said, hey, do you have that? I don't have to go find it on my, you know, I can just say, go to my website, da, 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 there it is. Yeah, you could add that to your website. So it would be the same process, okay. right? You would go, okay. um, you would go to create. I would, I'm under website, you'd go to create. You would add a CMS page. Okay. And you would upload the image. Um, you can also very easily take your Canva um your Canva newsletter that you send out and utilize yeah. the marketing tab. Okay. And you can create an e-blast. Okay. And you can make this recurring so it'll go out every month to your entire database. And all you have to do is add the picture of your newsletter into this e-blast. So um, you can create a new email It's slow because we're on Zoom. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get impatient. And then you can say monthly newsletter. And then you can use email designer. Don't do HTML. Do email designer and create blog. Okay. Then look how easy this is. I'm going to click image. And it's going to populate over here. It's slow because we're on Zoom. Yeah. And if I had an image of a newsletter, I would upload that image right here. Uh, let me see if I have. So when I download my, my PDF from Canva, that's where it is. I can just put that in there right there? It can't be a PDF. You'd have to download it as a, a PNG. Okay. Or a JPEG. And okay. I'm just looking to see if I have a, oh, here, I'll just put this in. I have a, a graphic. I'll put this in. Um, Amy, okay. Jamie, while you're looking, once again, level up, they do have graphs of newsletters. By the way, they even make it monthly. But if you want one that is, you know, goes out, like Jamie's teaching you, they do have the graphs for you, ready. You just need to put in your info. You look beautiful. Uh, <laughs> um, so you could just <laughs> add your newsletter here. Um, you could add more things if you want to add links, you could, you know, you could add headers, you can get as detailed as you want. Like the, the, the weekly email you guys get the Monday email is created just like this. I don't recreate it every week. I have it set up where it goes recurring. I just go in and edit each week so that what you get on Monday is the most current. Um, but this is how I do it. Um, and then I hit save if I've got it how I want it. Um, and then I decide who's getting it. Like I, so I select my recipients and then I go to schedule and I can set it up where, um, I can set it a specific date and time. Okay. It's thinking, but I, this is where I would set it up to be, uh, it's, uh, it's, we're stuck cause it's slow. Um, but you can set it up where it's recurring. So it can go out, see where it says not recurring. So I want it to go out on, um, I would say, let's say I want it to go out on September 1st because I want it on the first of every month. And then I would pick, I want it uh, recurring every month. 
And then I can say, I want it to go out indefinitely. I can say when I want it to stop. You can do this for anything, right? Um, and then you can send yourself a test uh, and then you would go through the process and you would hit next and you would make it active. So then your newsletter can be emailed along with mailed or whatever you want to do. Um, and you can have it live on your website. So it's up to Just, you, yeah. but it can be all encompassing. So it's, okay. it's very easy. This marketing tab, you can set things up recurring and just go in and edit it once and it will just always go. So you can do the same with text blast. So if you want text blast to go out, you want to send a text blast to some like a group of all of your clients or, or all of the buyers that you work with, because you've got them, you know, tagged as buyers or all of the sellers or all of the people that you met at open houses, you can do that and, and blast text blast. So hopefully that was helpful. I'm mad at myself that I haven't been on your calls lately. <laughs> I'm going to say it's been overwhelming still for two years learning, but I'm yeah. finally over that learning curve and I'm ready okay. to jump into this. Well, everything has to happen in time, right? Like, so steps to get everything together. So now we just enhance and we grow and we do different things. So um, this, if you've got the website and the CRM, like it, there's so many things that you can utilize. So especially if you've already got the graphics and stuff going out. Um, what other questions? Uh, we have we have about twelve minutes left. So, what else, you guys? What do you what what questions do you have about property base? Um, level up. Uh, Slav is on here, so you can ask about cab. I don't want to go too deep into that. <laughs> um, too deep into the new forms, but Slava, could you send me Jeremy's information because I wanted to talk to him about joining. Uh, that actually goes through Lisa. So that doesn't go oh, to okay. Jeremy. So we set you up for property base because if you are level up, no, if I, you went to level I up have, directly, you would have to, um, like there's a different fee, but if you go through us, it's $15. It's $15 if okay. you go on your own. So it's your okay. choice. <laughs> or 45 <laughs> I'm not sure, yeah. So uh, uh, contact Lisa. Yeah, so you just okay. email Lisa at deluxerealty.com and let her know, hey, um, I would love to sign up for Level Up Coaching. She'll set up your billing and then send you a confirmation code uh, to get into your platform. So that all comes okay. through us. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And just so you know, they're updating their platform. Um, I, I got a preview and everybody should be transitioning over. Anybody that's on Level Up now, um, there's going to be a new platform where it's specific to our brokerage. So um, the, instead of talking about KB Core, they're talking about, I mean, they'll still talk about KB Core. If you have it, you can ask them questions about your system, but they will also really specifically talk about property-based, which is cool. And deluxe. So that's nice. Um, what other questions? It's a great time to ask. It could be anything. doesn't necessarily have to be about property-based, but what questions do you guys have? Any techie questions? Anything? Canva, transaction desk, marketing, anything. Nothing. Okay. Slava, anything to add? Um, I mean, this is your time, you folks. You have 10 minutes. It can be something outside of property base. Um, oh. Anything related to your social media, branding, how you talk to your clients right now. Now you've got me. How, what do we do now with this buyer broker presentation? By the way, Level Up has been literally doubling down on it. Every other workshop they've done is to teach a realtor how to do that just because this is a national requirement. So um, if a client says, oh, well, I don't want to do that. And we had a case where someone said, well, I Googled and it said it's, it depends on brokerage. That's not true. If you're a realtor, it doesn't matter what brokerage you're with. It, it's a must. If you're a member of NAR, this is a, a countrywide requirement. Now, if a brokerage consists only of real estate agents, Yes, they are exempt, but if you're in Arizona, what can you help with? You don't have MLS, you don't have forms, you don't have legal hotline. Um, I really would want to see what just a real estate agent could do in Arizona. I mean, you're not able to practice whatsoever. You have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get your tools in place alone. 
Um, so we're working on a letter uh, for that. But um, yeah, just start working on those bio presentations, guys. Dana Matthews has a good one that you could uh, tweak in your Canva, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Canva. I know. Oh, I know. Griffin Some people are like, like, I don't oh. have time for Canva. And I'm like, okay, but but really you can do so much in Canva to help you, help you with your- I work. love Canva. Thank you for turning me on to that, Jamie. You're welcome. I and I'm, I'm in it all the time. You, My Canva is crazy. Actually, I'm a fan too. I don't have much time to, uh, you know, poke around, but I actually upgraded myself to the paid version. And I do not know if I need the paid version, but I I really have been enjoying doing the little luxury meeting graphs or graphic here and there. Or if you have a client that says, oh, send me your bio. I mean, it's so much better to put it through Canva versus drafting a Word document, right? Yeah. So people respond to images way better than just text. Yeah. Juan says Dana has a buyer presentation she can personalize for you. She made one for, for him. So that's, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Utilize your resources, right? Like we can't wear all the hats all the time. So that's why we have trusted professionals. That's why we have partners. That's why we um, work together as a team with others, right? They help us in our business. So um, hopefully you're way too busy to do all the things. So utilize your resources and reach out to, to great American and reach out to, starboard financial and reach out to old republic like some people forget that old republic has a toolkit like they have a whole toolkit that you guys can use that helps you with your marketing so um, again level up coaching has marketing stuff for you and they have different tools so there's lots of resources so that you don't have to do all the things all the time it's impossible Correct. It's, it's completely possible. possible. By the way, for uh, we're doing a different luxury event next week. It will be in person, folks. We want to see you. Uh, it is at the Landmark Condominium uh, Tower next to the Kirland, uh in Scottsdale, uh, Kirland Mall. So why don't you combine it with a fun lunch with friends or a nice shopping spree that day? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to gather uh, whoever wants to come. It's by our, 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 you have to RSVP for this one. You could come outside of the RSVP as well. Uh, but we have booked the limo bus to pick us up from the Scottsdale office so we can have champagne on the bus and go to the condo and take a look. It's uh, overlooking the golf course. It's a beautiful remodeled property. We cannot wait to feature it. And we haven't done a group thing like that in a long time. So that will be fun. So fun. Uh I'm excited. Elvira, you do great reels. That would be a great opportunity for you to do a fun reel. It's great amenities. The, the the whole the whole tower is great. It's not new like the Optima, but it's a pretty one, pretty good one. Nice. All, All right. right, you guys. We have six minutes. If you have nothing else, then I'm good. But if you want to ask, I'm here. <laughs> so um, I don't want to not answer your questions. Stacy, thanks so much. I'm so glad it's been helpful. I know things can be overwhelming, right? Tech stuff. This kind of thing can be overwhelming, especially if you're not in it all the time. Um, sometimes it's overwhelming for me, like, and doing it live when I don't, you know, like it's, it's, it's a thing, but I'm glad you guys found it helpful. Um, let me know if you have questions. We do this Wednesday workshop every month so that we can help support you. Um, and you guys can ask away whatever you have. So. And tomorrow we'll see it straight talk with your brokers. I know yes. Jamie started with that, but we'll talk a little more of what we actually see now in practice is you know, August 1st came and when, and we've been using the forms and the requirements are in place for Arizona. So we'll talk about do's and don'ts in a way. Yeah, it'll be really good. Join. I, I'm I'm going to miss out because I'll be at a property management uh, event, but uh, I'm sad I'm going to miss it, but it's going to be good. All right, everyone. All right, everyone. If you have nothing else, then we have nothing else. So have a great day and feel free to reach out with questions. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.